All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to want to watch this video to the end. I am confident in the information that this video is going to provide you, whether you are a creator on YouTube or just a creator in general, or even as a viewer and how to approach how you do things in your own life. It's going to be simple. It's going to be concise. It's going to be clear. The three things that I have learned that I feel are of the utmost importance for you to not only succeed as a creator, to grow on YouTube. YouTube, to grow on Twitch, to grow wherever you are, but to succeed at all in life. Now I've talked about this a few times before in other videos and how I feel about it, but as I continue to grow on YouTube, and I am by no means a professional, but I am growing. I am actively growing and my channel is actively seeing higher levels of views, higher levels of people in streams, comments, likes, reactions, etc. So something that I am doing, having started this six to eight months ago, is working. Now without getting too philosophical on you, this this is very, very important and it is going to be my first tip. What it should really be called is a rule because that's genuinely what it is. Authenticity. I'm going to say it again. The first and most important rule, tip, authenticity. If you are not being authentic in and of, within and without what you are creating, people are going to see right through it. They're going to smell it. They're going to taste it. They're going to hear it and they're not going to stick around. Now, now, we live in a time where millions and millions and millions of people are trying to create content in all fashions. So there is some merit in becoming a heightened version of yourself. I've talked about that before. There is truth to that. You're putting on a little bit of a show. You're presenting a version of yourself to people so that they respond to you and you're creating an energy around your content, around what you're putting out into the world. But the key, the foundation, and sometimes I'll say, your why. The key to it all is authenticity. If you are not authentically invested with the lights off and the door closed behind the scenes with no one watching, no one liking what you do, no nothing, you are not going to survive as a creator. Quite frankly, you're probably going to have a pretty hard time doing anything worthwhile in life at all. But this isn't a podcast. This is about content creation. Now, I'm a gamer. I create gaming content and I do gaming live streams. I am genuinely passionate about gaming news, about the industry developments that occur, that arise, about events that come and go surrounding games, gaming technology, the vendors, the people, the creators, all of it. I am genuinely invested in that on and off the camera. Now on camera, I am not a larger than life individual. I am not this super flamboyant bubbly, otherworldly guy compared to who I am in real life. Now, what I do try to do is up my level of enthusiasm and energy a bit so that it is entertaining and engaging, but I know that at the end of the day, I have to remain authentic to myself or the act that I'm putting on is gonna wear off. I'm gonna get tired of it. People are gonna see through that and they're not gonna stick around. That is all to lead me directly into point tip rule number two, which is that you must maintain who you really are. As creators of any kind, we have a really, really, really bad habit of investing so much of who we really are and, and, and how we identify in the world and with other people through the content we make. It becomes our whole identity and consumes us. So much so that the very moment that somebody disagrees with it, doesn't like it, throws shade on it, talks shit about it, it absolutely crushes us. It destroys us. Our ego goes all over the place. The alarm bells start ringing. Now that is a natural part of being a creator. But what I mean by maintaining a level of centeredness, of foundation, of security, security in who you really are as a creator, whether that's on YouTube, in my case it is, or whatever it is you're doing, is who you really are as a person, your core values, your beliefs, again, why you started doing it. Why did you start doing it? When the lights are off, when the door is closed, why did you start doing it? Who are you really? Where did all of this come from? If you were to be successful, if you were to have an impact on hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands or 
for millions of people. Who are you? Who are you really? What are your core beliefs, your core values, the foundations by and through which you work and want to represent yourself? I'm not talking about the transitions and the panels and the green screens and all the flashy stuff you have on your stream and all the little knickknacks and all the goofy shit that you talk about. I'm, that's not what I mean. That's important. That's part of the entertainment value of content creation and streaming, providing genuine, authentic content that's there. But I'm talking about where all of this began for you. So much of the reason that people start creating content and stop creating content in the same day, never to touch it again, is because they have no idea who they really are when it comes to creating content and why they're doing it in the first place. Right into my third and final tip rule, guys. This one is super important. It sounds goofy, might even sound a little cliche, but I do believe, there, believe there's a lot of truth in this and it is directly related to point number two. All of these are flowing in sequence and that is you as a creator, and I'm not speaking on the business side of things, that's a a whole different topic so don't get me don't get it confused here I don't I want to see people in the comments talking about you got to learn how to sell man you got to learn how to sell that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about on a philosophical level on an emotional level do not sell anything provide for free a genuine connection, a genuine emotional, mental connection with your audience. Let me say that again. Do not try to sell your audience anything. Provide them with a with an authentic and genuine connection. Now, what that means, it's very simple. We are not talking about the business side of creation in any aspect. We're talking about the fact that people buy in to other people. They buy in to the connection that they perceive themselves having within other people. That's what you should be focusing on building. Whether you write down on a piece of paper or type it up on your computer, your ideal viewer and what that ideal viewer looks for and likes and wants what they don't like and you're not going to be able to please everybody that's an impossible mission it's not going to happen you have to cater it in your own way to your own people and the people who are meant to be there will come and they'll stay and the people who aren't will go that's fine that's just the name of the game you'll have a really high high and then you'll crash but the only way that you'll make it through that dip through that crash is by having that authentically, based on who you really are, provided a genuine connection, emotional platform underneath you from the beginning. That might have sounded a little squirrely. I tried to tie them all together there, but that's the only way you'll make it through those lows. The higher you get, the harder, the further you fall. You've got to have these things in place, not only from the beginning, but you have to continue to personally develop on them. In all aspects. Now again, not to get too far left field because we're talking about content creation, gaming specifically, but in any area of your life, these should be pillars by which you operate from. And it's really difficult to come to something that's in the public eye like content creation and think about these things because you have a million different sources telling you what to do and when to do it and where to go and who to listen to and what to pay for and when to post and blah, 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 blah. All of that has its place, it's all important. But the utmost, the utmost importance lies within these three pillars of anything life, personal development, growth, mentality, spirituality. But if you're gonna get on YouTube, if you're gonna start a podcast, if you're gonna be a painter, a musician, whatever it is, apart from just the passion and the love for it, have these things in place, guys, and you will see growth and success from it. It may not be what you thought it was. We're never guaranteed that type of outcome. We're only entitled to the labor of our hands. We are not entitled to the reward. If we are lucky and blessed enough, we will receive that award in due time. But keep these things in the forefront of your mind and you will grow. You will succeed. I am growing. I am succeeding. I have been a success. No, I'm not making a full-time income off of this, but it has been a success. It will continue to be a success. So Winnie, lady, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to this video. I hope it helps you somehow. I hope it provides
provides you with a little bit of motivation and inspiration to keep going and understand and reorient what you're doing and why you're doing it. And, and as a little bonus item here, the people that are around you and what those people say to you when you talk about things that you're invested in doing, those people are just as important of a factor. Do not associate yourself with people who do not support you, who don't understand what you're doing and who don't believe in it. Get rid of them. That's a whole different topic. I've rambled on long enough. This has been the esotericism of gaming on YouTube, guys. We stream three days a week here on YouTube and Twitch. There are links in the video as well as the description of YouTube. I would love to have you as a part of the community. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Follow me on Twitch, Papa Scrim at Scrim Gaming here on YouTube. It really helps the algorithm understand that you enjoyed this. Other people might enjoy it. This is the type of shit that we like to talk about, guys. So become a part of that community. It's totally free. And I will see you guys and gals online. Thank you.